How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen any map. Just stinking, raking death. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them. So we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I, I locked the door. The sharks. The Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible. What? No. You're one of them. You'll never get me!
Somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I walk out and bam! Cell cats swarm in from everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right here in this room. My room. No fishy, fishy for me. No, 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 that only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is, few fishies there, and many, many. No, only the... No, no, you when the... No, only the one... Bye-bye, go... Is somebody out there? Investigate? You're just like the others, fodder for the Selkath. Go ask when the uh. No problem. Got it.
The Force fights with you! Didn't work. there. 
You're not Selkath, I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane Selkaf killing everything that moves! All my companions are dead. The Selkaf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them! And they... they looked... wrong... somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something! Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy Selkaf! There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay! I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner! I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place! I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe.
No, you can't come in here. You'll let the Firaxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I'll let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete the pressurization. 54 seconds to complete the pressurization. <laughs> 48 seconds to complete the pressurization. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No. No, no! Ah! Ah, no! You, Sammy, Sammy, calm down. I don't think they're here to kill us. Uh, Kono, Kono, are, are they? Yes. I think they're here to help us. I... I'm sorry for what I did. We're both just scared. When the Selkath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people out... The Frax and Sharks just tore them apart. It was... The next thing we knew, our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, Sammy and me, I... I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Selkath outside the doors every once in a while. We thought everyone was dead. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. Look, I'm sorry. I have just been under a lot of strain recently. You know, the whole thing about having my entire research team dev- Kono, don't talk to him like that. We've gone through a lot, and we said we were sorry for the mistake we made. Just... I'm sorry for- Well, we're not too clear ourselves, just exactly- The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. This- this mo- It was like it was screaming! Then, all the Selkaths started scream. It may. It may have, It could have been. It might have a lair and- 
Why, why it reacted so violently, and also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Colta. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its op- Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect- That would be suicide! Out there, wait- The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but they still got some of our workers from time to time. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is. No, it's not working right. The repellent we made was supposed to drive for Axon Shark. The one we tested instead was violently toxic. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We know exactly what it'll do. You can take this canister of toxin. We were working. All you need to do is insert it into the main... Get away as soon as you can. Wait, don't! We don't know what effect the talk It could poison the water again. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. I think if you could destroy the machinery... I am... Sh you can reprogram the harvesting machines to... The hydro... If you... It's better... What? No! Run, Kono! He's one of them!
No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> You've returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? Contaminated? That's... that's much worse than I would ever have thought possible. It might have been better to lose the entire facility rather than damage the culto supply. This must remain entirely secret. We cannot allow anyone to find out that we damaged the culto production, or we would be banned permanently from the planet. We can only hope that the damage that was caused will go away in time. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need, and for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Oh, 
Interdictorship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Carrot's vessel. My old mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, to Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. 
That is not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I, mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't. I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us would just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up... Is that wise? We need someone inconspicuous for this task, and Wookiees... Well, the droid's right. If we disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his... But if we can rig a backup... Hold on, they're dragging... Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a disabled astromech droid in the back of the ship. Wipe its memory chips and take it to the junk pile. Maybe we can use some of its parts for salvage. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him, and the history between you. You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malak of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat... flexible. What are you saying? Physical pain is nothing compared to the suffering of the galaxy if Malak should defeat the Jedi. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. 
However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when this first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. A brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No! Ah, uh, no! Ah! Uh, uh, ah! Uh, Listen. Can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! No! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I'm wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is for last. This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from Saul, it's how the power of the dark side can corrupt even the bravest of heroes. Sorry, forgive me. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Brooke, Endar, Saar. Imagine. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this frick. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate. I have to confess something. There was a moment. Just a moment. I've known Admiral Kareth a long time. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before- Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well then we better hope T3M4-